One of the most famous stories in Scripture is that of the man lowered through the rooftop into Jesus' presence. I think often about the faith of the men who lowered him through the rooftop. They had to have faith for him to be healed. Of course, Jesus had to have the power to heal him. But what about the man himself? I believe that there's a missing element that's not explored in many of our accounts about healing, both physical and emotional. That man had to allow people to carry him into a high-risk situation up on a rooftop where he himself could not protect himself. He had to allow himself to be lowered into the midst of a public setting where he might be laughed at, mocked, or even rejected by Jesus. That man had to have courage to be healed. Hello, I'm Mark Rutland. I pray that many people will find the inner healing that they need through courage to be healed, where they can confront that element, that woundedness, that aspect of their past that still haunts them and keeps them back from the fullness of life that God wants for them. When they can find courage to be healed and bring that through counsel straight into the presence of Jesus, they discover him to be not only healer, but wonderful counselor. I recommend to you courage to be healed.